you would think that the lighting and the microphone and the camera angle would get better because I'm now in film school. Disappointed but not surprised. So I decided for my first video of 2017 I would do a topic that's very dear to me which are books. So I'm gonna list the 30 books I read in 2016. Reviewing each one individually would take a long time so I read a lot of series so I'll talk about the series in general and I'll just stop on the ones that are my favorites. Okay? I started off really well. I reread one of my all-time favorite series which is Vampire Academy. If there's one thing you need to know about me is that I'm a sucker for chick lit and vampire books. So, Vampire Academy is very dear to me. <laughs> and I identify with Rose Hathaway, so... I I don't want to talk about it because every time I tell someone this story, I don't sound convincing, I sound stupid, but I promise it's good. I promise it sounds exactly what it is, but it's good. It's really fun. Okay, so it's one of my favorite series. I love Vampire Academy. And the movie shit. I also read, after I finished all the Vampire Academies, I read the first one of the Bloodline series, which is also by Rochelle Mead, and is a spin-off of one of the characters. It was good, but it didn't make me want to read the rest. Like, I'm curious, but I'm not sure I want to pay money for it, you know? Next, I read How Star Wars Conquer the Universe, and all of my knowledge and fun facts about Star Wars. It's from this book. I, I think I mentioned on a previous video this book, and it's really good. If you're a Star Wars fan or if you're a movie fan, because it's really cool, that you get the whole process of movie making. So for me especially, it was very interesting. I was feeling kind of lonely in, while I was doing the prep school thing I talked before about. So I decided I need to visit some old friends. And I reread all of the 10 Percy Jackson books. The Greek books. I love the Greek books. I will protect them and I love them. Like Percy, I love Percy. So just for you to get my level of Percy Jackson trash, I read the, trial, the first book of the Trials of Apollo. I read that. It's not terrible. It's, no, it's alright. It's same old. But it's fun. It's fun to, to see Will and Nico being a cute couple. And there's a Brazilian guy, which is funny, but weird. And it's so easy to read Percy Jackson. Like, it just flows, you know. So, in Brazil, you have to do a test to get into university. I've talked about this. And there are 12, I think, books you have to read that are possibly going to be on the Portuguese part of the test. So, I read... Iracema, which is one of the books that's gonna be on, that was in the list. Another book I read from that list, it's called Mayombi, which is a book from an author in Angola. His name is Pepetela. It's cool because in Angola they speak Portuguese, and I thought it was very nice of the test makers to include that book. And it's such a cool book. I thought in the beginning it's very philosophical and you get lost, but it's really good. I read the second half really fast. That and Sand Captains are the best books on that list. Oh, there are some barrel lives. I love barrel lives. The university I got into had a couple different books from the other list I was talking about. So I read those two. I read Don Casmurro. I have no idea how that's in English. And Makunaima. Both are really fun. I like Don Casmurro a lot. But yeah, it's old, it's old Portuguese, so that's kind of hard. And sometimes you don't get it, and it's slower. But it's fun, I like them. I also read Binge by Tyler Oakley. It was a really fun book. It was a memoir, there's not much to say about that. And it was Tyler, like I could hear Tyler talking. And it gave me my best breakup metaphor that I've heard. Okay, the next three, I cheated a little bit to get my 30 books. I read, I was supposed to read for argument one, three plays, which are Medea, Agamemnon, and Oedipus, Oedipus, 
Oedipus. Oedipus King. I forgot how you say Oedipus King. You know what I'm talking about. Freud. Okay. So another one I read for school, which I think I have to read again because I read really fast because we had a test. It was Death with Interruptions by José Saramago. And again, it's a book we complain as students, but it's really good. The last three books on this list are probably my favorites I read this year. Okay, so the first one is Another Place by Darren Shan. This book is out of this world, if you know what I mean. But it's so different from everything I've ever read. I did a whole video on this book, but I don't think he did it justice. Neither will this. Read Another Place. It's not like anything you've read and it keeps you hooked until the last page I promise second to last book when the books went when the books went to war this book is about the importance of books on World War two I almost cried on every page I don't know why last but definitely definitely the least I finally read life and death Judge me all you want. But I'm gonna start a year with shitty vampire books. I'm gonna end the year with shitty vampire books. Because that's me. So, for those who don't know, Life and Death is the gender bend version of Twilight. And Stephanie Meyer caught me by fucking surprise. I wouldn't strangle her. If you don't like Twilight, don't read it. Because it's just the feeling of getting forks back because one thing is to read reread the book and you get the feeling I've been here and it's this is cool this is cozy but life and death it's that but new because it's not Bella and Edward it's Boo and Edith so it gives you the same fuzzy feeling of your favorite book but it has a different twist on it. I, I enjoyed reading it. I read it in like three days, so. <laughs> Look. So those were my 30 books of 2016. I'll leave the whole list in the description. If you want any reviews individually, I could post the one I did from another place and do more. I just talked a little, fa a little faster because I didn't want this video to get too long. Okay, bye.